Hello everyone, welcome to the third episode of Bug Bounty POCs, a series where I explain the reproduction steps of my own findings and also explain the reporting process behind them. So let's dive into today's video that is default OTP account takeover. So let's move to the bug summary. So there is an application, a web application that has a login flow and the login flow requires a phone number and an OTP confirmation. The bug is that you don't need to enter the OTP that is arriving on your phone number. You can use this default OTP 1234 and login into anyone's account. So this is the an easy explanation that go to the target, enter the phone number, OTP 1234 and login is successful. Let's move to the reporting process now. I reported this bug on 19 September 2022, around nine months ago, made a brief summary and and three steps to reproduce. This was the exploitation that if attacker knows the number of the user who is using this application, he can log in into his account using this OTP code 1234. After some time, I found one more instance and that instance was again a development environment. So both these web applications, the first one and the second one, both are not in production. Both were not in production. And this is the reason they paid less bounty for this because they are environments were not in production bug is not affecting so many users right? so on 21st september 2022 they say change the status to ppr and on 23rd it got triaged by the internal triager on 27th september they rewarded me with a bounty of 400 dollars on 3rd october the status got changed to resolved this is the reporting timeline and thank you